A standard Japanese ramen factory is in operation for 24 hours a day, and they end up producing at least 2 billion ramen every year. This process begins with the preparation of the basic ingredients, wheat flour, salt, water, and kansui, which some might say is the secret of ramen noodles. The production process is a continuous and completely mechanical one, which takes less than an hour. It begins with the preparation of ingredients. First, flour is pumped out of the huge silos into a huge mixer, and measured quantities of water, salt, a little bit of vegetable oil, and kansui are added. Kansui is a special Japanese condiment that is technically alkaline water and functions to add elasticity to the noodles. This combination of ingredients is stirred by the huge rotary blades of the mixer until a smooth and consistent dough is formed. Next, the heavy and thick dough is mechanically transferred to a kneading machine which beats it until it stretches considerably. From here, the dough is transferred to a dough roller machine, which converts the thick dough into thin sheets. These dough sheets are then transported to a slitter area through a conveyor system. The conveyor passes the thin dough sheets through the slitting machine, which cuts the dough into thin long strips. The opening of the slitting machines usually comes in different shapes, so depending on the machine used to cut them, the dough strips come out straight or twirly. At this point, the dough strips are still very long and continuous, so they are passed through another slitting machine which cuts them horizontally, and after, they are dropped on another conveyor system. This conveyor contains inbuilt molds called noodle discs, into which the dough strips are portioned, and here, several strips are molded into the circular shape that instant noodles are known to have. Apart from molding the noodles, these noodle discs are also perforated, which makes them perfect for the next production process. Next, the noodle discs and their contents are transported to the fryer, which contains preheated oil at about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. The noodles are fried for just a few minutes on either side, and the hotness of the oil makes them crispy and dry. After spending a few minutes in the fryer, the noodles are passed through a cooling area, where they are allowed to cool down and dry. After cooling, the noodle production process is practically over, and all that's left is to package the noodles. Nom 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 nom. For noodles with fewer calories, they are dried and crisped up using blow drying technology. This method exposes the noodles to hot air at about 180 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes to an hour. These kinds of noodles are known as non-fried noodles, and are generally considered a healthier alternative. However, this method is less popular than the frying method, since non-fried noodles are the less popular choice. After cooling and drying, the noodles are moved to the packaging area, where the production process is completed. The packaging machine puts each portion of noodles into plastic cups or covers the noodles in nylon wraps. However, cups are more popularly used. These cups have been sanitized before this process. And in addition to the noodles, sealed packets of seasoning and vegetables are also added. Next, these cups are sealed with foil or thin plastic sheets before being passed to another machine, which inscribes the brand name and other important labels on the body of the cup and the seal. Next, each cup of instant noodles is packaged into a box of 6, 9, or 12, depending on the company. Each pack is inspected for sealing issues before being stored in warehouses or loaded directly to delivery vehicles. Because instant noodles are made to be extremely dry, they have a really long shelf life. So you don't have to worry about your pack of noodles expiring anytime close to the manufacturing date. Regardless of how dry they are made, you can be certain that they will soften up the instant you add hot water to the noodle cup.